The views and opinions expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of the staff and management of Salem Media of Hawaii. Aloha, everybody, and thank you for joining me here at Be Fit for Health. This is Bianca, your host. Uh, we're here today with another great show. Um, gosh, you know, I'm actually really excited because uh, the guests we have on here, uh, one of them has been here on our first show, Kelly Nash Mont- Mont- Montanay, and um, she was able to get the uh, CEO and founder of uh, John Thorpe Institute, John Thorpe himself, to call in from San Diego and talk to us about you know, energy medicine and how exciting is that to speak with someone who's world renowned, travels the world to see all sorts of different types of people, including, including the Kings and Queens of some countries. Um, this is an honor for me because I think the last interview he did in Hawaii was a quite a bit of time ago. And, you know, he's coming on to my show and I feel very honored to have him here. So in about a little bit, we'll bring him on and, and Kelly and, in fact, Kelly's here in my studio. She's she's just kind of staring at me, you know, wants to learn more about what I'm going to be talking about in a minute with amino acid. But, um, you know, we're going to get into it in a little bit. So hang tight. Let me geek out on you guys now. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about health stuff when it always comes down to your immune system and how your body works. Uh, the first 10 minutes of my show will always be on, you know, what are some of the things that you can take and do to keep your body healthy and vibrant and healthy and young? Um, and so I will try to do my best to educate you with what I know and some of the research that I do. And you know me, I go to these publications and, you know, uh, refer to some of my mentors out there that has more information than I do. And I put it all together for you. So I had asked a friend of friends of mine on Facebook, you know, what do you guys want me to talk about? And, you know, one of my Facebook friends, Sibel, uh, she asked me to discuss amino acids and I thought, okay, I can, there's a lot of topics on that, but there's also a lot of information. So I kind of broke it down to a few aspects. And uh, first of all, you know, you want to know what is an amino acid. And there's two types of amino acids. There are the t- one type is the type that makes you can make in your body. The other type is that you need from your diet. So it's called essential and non-essential. So the essentials um, are the nine amino acids that you can get from foods, and the non-essentials are elevens that your body makes. So if you want to break it down, I can give you the names of them. They're really, some of them are really hard to pronounce. But, you know, if you were to look at the nine essentials, you can look at leucine, lysine, um, uh, trop- trop- tripophane, valine. God bless me for trying to pronounce this. I know some of you could probably can, but this is a bit of a, it's Greek to me. The non-essentials are manufactured uh, by your uh, body. And basically, it helps support the the optimal levels of your health. Uh, So protein is necessary for this. And some of them are arginine, um, uh, asparic acid, cysteine, 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 glutamine, uh, glutamatic acid. Um, Some of these you can, I'll actually post on my YouTube when I do post this show on there. I'll I'll list all of this down for you guys so that you can look them up yourselves. Again, do your homework because I am giving you the information. Um, So basically, what does this do for a body? So amino acids are building blocks of the body. Besides building the cells and repairing tissue, they also form antibodies. This is important for for what we're going through now, right, with the virus. So they form antibodies to combat invading viruses and bacteria. They are part of the uh, enzyme and hormonal system. And like the enzymes that I used to talk about prior to these shows, which was SOD, and catalase, supro, supro oxide, this m- mustase. <laughs> these are such hard words. Anyways, these enzymes that we get in our DNA and RNA, which, you know, amino acids help also build, um, basically help to combat free radical damage and oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is what ages our body and, and ages and kills our cells if we don't have the right protection for them. So proteins, in essence, is a great protector of our cells and other aspects of our body. So when you are, you know, working out and doing things that are very stressful in your system, you're creating oxidative stress and you need those proteins to repair the tissues as well as some of the organs that are in your body to help support uh, the system itself. Now, when we were to look at what else it does, it helps 
like I said, help build the RNA and DNA. It carries oxygen throughout the body. Um, it participates in muscle activity. Um, and it also breaks down the digestive system. So it helps a lot. Um, so you got to take a look at your diet. How much protein are you consuming? Now, over consumption of protein isn't good either. So uh, understand that your your most of your amino acids are broken down in your liver. And if your liver gets too much protein, it will store it as fat. So, you know, you got to understand what your lifestyle is. If are you, are you physically active? And if you are, then you need a little more protein. If you're not, then you don't need as much. And that's kind of important. So, you know, how do you know if you're deficient? Um, getting to that point is some diets may cause you to be deficient. Um, unless you're very good at understanding nutrition, uh, some vegetarian bodybuilders are deficient because they're building, they're, they're working out so much and tearing down the muscle tissue so much that if they don't get the right amount of protein, their body can't build the, the, the muscle fibers. So some bodybuilders may be uh, looking a little bit uh, uh, skinnier than they would like. I mean, they may want that muscle, but they're like, why am I not building muscle? It's your diet. And I always say 85% of you, uh, what you look like is is what you eat. So uh, consuming an, an inadequate number of calories may not be uh, uh, enough. Amino acids, in this case, your body will break down the protein in the muscle. So then your body starts eating itself out. So basically, if you don't consume enough protein, your body will start going into the muscle and start consuming and getting those amino acids from the muscle itself. And that's not a good thing either. Now, uh, amino acids are also ne- meets the needs of the organs in our body. And also helps in um, recovering those areas as well. So that's, like I said, it helps with the digestive system. The other benefits of amino acids are it builds cell and repairs tissue, assists with wound healing, increases athletic performance. It helps with your blood, collagen, neurotransmitters, your skin, your hair, and your organs. So it's a big component of the way our body functions. In fact, it's probably second the most important is the water, obviously, because our body is, is made up mostly of water. But the second most important is protein. Every aspect of your body is functioned through protein, from your cells to your DNA to your RNA to just building back the muscle fibers that you may have torn up. Now, what are complete protein foods? So if you're looking at the, getting those nine essential uh, amino acids that your body doesn't make, you can get it from animal protein, um, chicken, fish, uh, beef, um, you can also get it from plant-based, like black beans, kidney beans, pumpkin seed, quinoa, pistachio, eggs, dairy products, such as cow's milk, yogurt, cheese. Um, you can also combine these um, uh, foods that are may not be complete in those nine uh, essential amino acids that we're talking about to make them uh, complete. And then when you combine it with the 11 amino acids that we make in our body, you've got the full gamut and your body is running optimally. So um, another aspect of amino acids before I finish up into uh, things is that, you know, there are different types of amino acids too that you can take for different reasons. And, you know, in the fitness world, which is my arena, we, we basically take uh, branching aminos. And branching aminos are only three amino acids, uh, leucine, which is basically the main uh, amino acid that a lot of uh, fitness people take for building muscle. I would even say uh, glutamine, but um, leucine seems to be the main component in this uh, research that I've done. Um, isoline, which is more for energy, um, so and uh, valine. So what that means is energy is that it goes into the cell to the mitochondria, which is that little motor of that cell which produces a product called ATP. And ATP is the energy component of each cell that produces energy for the rest of the body. So these amino acids help the, in the production of that as well and being distributed into the system so that you can get um, the amount of energy that you need to sustain a, a workout. So BCAs, a lot of people, you'll see their drinks in the gym and it's all colored or maybe it's pink or blue or what have you, they're usually mixed up with some branching aminos. And it just helps your workout even better um, you, because it sustains your energy as you're training really hard. So contrary to most other amino acids, BCAAs are broken down to the muscle and it is basically protects the liver from having to process this. So it works in the muscle aspect, not from the liver. So when you take BCAAs, you're giving the liver a break from um, using uh, breaking the protein down into um, uh, amino acids. So um, that's another good role for branching amino acids. So basically, it also does other things as well. Amino acids also help with your blood sugar levels. 
Um, it also helps with um, your brain energy, things like that. So bottom line, your branch chain aminos are build uh, protein from to produce a muscle, but also the other amino acids are necessary for life. Okay, so when it comes to your amino acids and things like that, um, I would say do a little homework. Um, you can find a lot of information, guys, just to break it down to make it simple and you don't have to read like medical journals or things like that. You can go to YouTube. Um, there are some doctors on there that are very knowledgeable that, that are, let's say, sports medicine doctors or, you know, exercise physiologists. Um, these guys are brilliant when it comes to the understanding of amino acids. Some of them even get into the biochemistry of amino acids and you don't need to know what H and H2O and all these com- com- combinations are unless you're really geeky like me. But um, I would just say just to understand how your body works, why you're sore when you exercise, how long does it take for your body to recover? Why is it taking so long? Why aren't you building muscle? Especially after the age of 40, we have a lesser chance to build the muscle because our body um, needs to, uh, it takes a little bit longer for it to break down. So other than that, everybody, this was my you know, a little bit of time to educate, um, empower, give you guys the information that you need to to build a quality, healthy body. Um, and if you guys have any questions or concerns, please reach me at BeFitForHealth.com. That's BeFit4Health.com. You can also um, find me on Facebook and my Instagram is B.BeFitForHealth. Um, and also my Facebook is BeFit for Health. So you guys can go ahead and inbox me there. I will be more than happy to discuss anything you guys want me to discuss on this radio show just so that you guys get the information you need, okay? So we're going to take a, a quick break. And then when we come back, the party begins, you guys. We got John Thorpe in the studio calling in from San Diego. And then we have Kelly. They're going to really educate us on what, you know, common sense medicine, guys. Common sense medicine the, the wave of the future is going to be energy medicine, and we want to make sure that we give you every single information we possibly can. This is going to be fun. We'll be back. Free month of Netflix, free month of Hulu, free month of Honolulu Club. <laughs> what? That's right. Sign up today at Honolulu Club, Hawaii's premier athletic, social, and business networking club, and they'll give you the month of May for free. Honolulu Club offers state-of-the-art fitness services with Honolulu's top trainers and amenities. It's time to get ready to look your best this summer. Log on to HonoluluClub.com or call 585-9626 for more info. Honolulu Club, Hawaii's premier athletic, social, and business networking club. Sign up today. Have you heard of microcurrent therapy? If you suffer from chronic pain, arthritis, sports injuries, ligament injuries, or migraines, the electro Equiscope can help. This non-invasive treatment system is drug-free and shows no negative side effects. If you are seeking pain relief and want to boost your immune system, schedule a demonstration or consultation by calling Kelly, your microcurrent electrotoxologist, at 485-9697 or follow on Instagram at Kelly's Time. Make your appointment today. Okay, and we are back. This is great, guys. I'm really excited. I'm going to I'm going to introduce uh, my guests. These these two people are really smart too smart for me but we're going to learn something today so it's going to be uh, school time again but you know first of all I want to welcome back Kelly Nash Montonet um, a good friend of mine and also my um, you know a saver in, in my body she takes care of me and, and when I need to get a tune up I go to her and she takes care of my nervous system and she uses the uh, medical device that we had to discuss on my very first show the electro ecuscope and it's um for me, it's it's a miracle device for me, and I, I think the word miracle is going to be coming up a lot in this show because it has changed a lot of people's lives, not just mine, um, in the way I look at also to treat pain and other um, things when it comes to your health. So um, um, welcome, Kelly. I'm, I'm happy to have you here. Yay. Um, so uh, I appreciate the fact that you also brought on uh, John Thorpe. And, you know, those of you guys who don't know who John is, John actually uh, used to live here in Hawaii. And he, um, you know, worked with a lot of medical professionals here. He actually originated as being a stuntman for uh, Magnum P.I., the original. And, um, you know, this man has, I don't know what he's not done, but he's done a lot of great good when it comes to not only entertaining us, but also educating us when it comes to his institute that he created just so that he can actually help mold the future of the way that we treat our bodies through the John Thorpe Institute in San Diego. John Thorpe is basically a pioneer 
and has done basically 40,000 hours of experience in treating patients it, besides not just human beings, but also animals. I mean, he's actually helped a lot of horses and when it comes to their um, injuries and their uh, joint pain so that they can go out there and live a good quality of life. But not only that, uh, to perform as an athlete, you know, um, he's actually helped. There was a story that I'll have him explain to you guys that he told me uh, yesterday that, you know, there was a horse that was purchased for like $35,000 and didn't have much hope when it came to its performance in these races that are out there. And, um, you know, they called uh, John to come in and say, hey, look, this horse is, um, you know, limping. He's not able to. That's quality of life isn't good. He's gone and, and helped him out every single day, uh, treated him, um, spent countless hours with this horse. And, um, you know, he, he told the owner, listen, this horse is ready to go at, at some point. And they raced this horse. The horse in the beginning basically was losing a lot because of a lot of his issues. But in this race, he not only won, but he won by a lot. And the owner was stunned. He was like, well, how the hell did you do this? What, what, what did you do? Um, you know, and John's like, this is, this is what I do. This, you, you treat the body and give it the information that it needs, and it'll do what it's supposed to. And not only that, this horse that was bought for 35000 was sold to a Japanese man for, uh, uh, I believe it was $10 million. Uh, I mean, can you imagine the, the recovery of that? I mean, this is just because... We are able to educate the body properly, we call common sense medicine, through a technology that, you know, you guys may not be aware exists. Um, you know, John also, you know, he worked with a lot of medical doctors here, but he also has worked with a lot of medical doctors in California, um, one of which I don't think you guys would know this name, Cedar Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Um, he's worked with um, patients there who had um, heart transplants or, you know, had um, liver issues. He's basically brought them back to a place of health as well through his knowledge and abilities through this um, medical device. Now, when it came to, um, you know, his uh, knowledge and uh, experience, he wanted to pass it on to others. And he's brought on, I don't know, I think 26 probably even more. I don't want to even limit to the amount of doctors that have joined this team. I'm talking about doctors that are, you know, uh, cardiologists to uh, DOs to, um, you know, there's one doctor that's in here, Dr. Richard De uh, Delaney, who is a quadruple board certified cardiologist, internal medicine, uh, ger geriatrics, emergency care, uh, functional medicine. This guy obviously wasn't satisfied with just medical degree, one medical degree. He had to get like a lot. <laughs> but that tells you that someone that brilliant and smart understood what John Thorpe was trying to to share with the world and you know um, he even brought on Dr. Stephen Sinatra I don't know if you guys know who that is not Frank Sinatra Stephen Sinatra he's a cardiologist and he's got um, he's a New York Times bestseller for over 20 books on metabolic cardiology I mean the list goes on guys when it comes to who um, he has influenced and how he's been able to get uh, their patients to a level of health based off of energy medicine and energy uh, uh, knowledge. Um, you know, how does our body work? As Kelly had stated, we are we are first, what are we, Kelly? We are electrical beings all day long. Bioelectrical before biochemical from day one and continuing. Yes, ma'am. And so because, because of that, um, I want to en encourage all of you to remember that so that you, next time you guys have some kind of pain issue, you're not just going for a pill. You got to figure out what's really happening with your body. And, and she's here to educate us. And so is John. John, are you on the line? I'm on the line. He's on the line. <laughs> Welcome, John. Welcome back to Hawaii, at least via this radio show. <laughs> uh, you know, Hawaii's my home. You know, one local Holly boy, as they called me, he, he got... <laughs> He's got howly skin, but he's got Hawaiian heart. And, uh, yes, you do. I was always blessed. I always felt blessed when I was accepted um, as a howly into the Hawaiian families. And uh, as one of the first to fly off Makapu there, I spent many a time on the beach and being being surrounded by young little Hawaiians. And, Mr., can I, could I fly like you? And, you know, there's nothing you can't do you know you're we're just we're just miracles in everything that we do Absolutely. and i and for those of you that remember 7 11 91 i mean i just like the numbers 7 11 those are pretty lucky numbers 1991 that was the total eclipse of the sun oh wow and i wasn't watching that eclipse i was flying my hang glider into it and uh actually paula akana 
uh, did a whole uh, series on my flight into the sun of uh, that that amazing morning on seven eleven ninety one. So at the same time, working at Castle Medical Center. But I had I said, you know, if today's if everything I'm doing in medicine, which was so far from my wildest dreams, I was a professional stuntman. I was a you know I was a adrenal junkie. You know and um, and when the, the eclipse came along, I said, I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to be a part of it. I'm going to fly my hang glider into it. And it was almost my last day on planet Earth. And as Joe Moore said, John Thorpe went above the clouds to do what man is always, you know, to fly like the birds. So That's amazing. So I said, what I'm doing is true in medicine, then God will give me another day. But if what I'm saying isn't so true, you know, maybe today's a good day to die. You know, and those were kind of my attitudes back in from the 70s when I started on. And um, and now, it, as they say, it only takes 34, it'll be 35 years soon, 35 years to become an overnight success. Wow. That's a lot of overnights. That's a lot of an hours and seconds and, and all that good stuff. You've, you've done a lot. So, it's God's plan, not my plan, and I'm just one of his white light warriors showing up, you know, to, to help mankind and to do, you know, God created us perfectly. And to, to um, you know, in as I trained coming back from my injuries, I would always say as I would pedal harder and harder in his image, in his image, you know, and what whatever that image is, as we look at ourselves as light beings and energy beings just just housed inside of these vehicles that we're traveling in. You know, this is, I, I call it cellular physiology. If I can heal your spirit, your spirit will heal your body. Amen. Cellular physiologist. And then, you know, as what uh, the new type of medicine that we're introducing, it's an entirely new walk of medicine, and it's known as electrotoxicology. We've got a lot of dirty electricity out there, and so to be certified, as Kelly is, as a certified electrotoxicologist, we're looking at dirty electricity and how it's affecting mankind. And all kind, you know, it doesn't matter. All living creatures, all, all of nature is energy. All of nature is electricity. Yeah, absolutely. The water is, is booming with, the ocean is booming with electricity. And that's why we go in the water, salt water, to basically help heal our body to some degree. That's why a lot of people go into, you know, under the lights. Uh, the sun is also electricity, energy uh, beaming down on us to feed our bodies. There's all sorts of levels of energy around us that are good. But like you said, there's also bad energy that also affects our system. Because if we are electrical beings, like you're saying, the good and the bad are coming in and out of our system. So, you know, how do you combat that? And how do you get your body to a place of stability? Equilibrium, yeah. equanimity mm -hmm. with a, an Awesome device called an electro equiscope. Yeah, which, you know, John, can you give us a quick uh, history on how this machine was created and why, and and how you uh, stumbled on it to to begin with? Well, I stumbled upon it. You know, I in a non stunt related injury, I shattered my tibia, my fibia, and my femur all under the knee joint. You know, and. Um, you know, people go, oh, what stunt did you, did you, did that happen? And I said, it wasn't a stunt. It was, it was, it started with the same three letters, S-T-U, but unfortunately it didn't end in N-T-S. It ended in P-I-D. Stupid. <laughs> so it was, it was one of those, it was an injury where, you know, in Hawaii, there's incidents where people lose their cool and I had a few too many cocktails in myself and my father always said if somebody hits you you can hit back well somebody hit me and I hit back and uh, won the battle but lost the war you know I'm the one that went to the hospital with uh, shattered tibia fibia and femur and um, and they said without a uh, and I sent Kelly the x-rays to, to show what hasn't changed in you know the January 6th of 1986 you know, so they said, without a total knee replacement, you will never walk without the use of a cane. You're going to have a stiff leg because you have damaged yourself so badly. It was in 56 pieces, and, um, you know, you'll never bend the leg. So they said, the good news is, because you are a stuntman and you've got screen actor skills, 
your Screen Act of Skilled Medical Insurance, we checked it. They'll pay the eighty plus thousand dollars for you to have a knee replacement. And I asked them at that time, nineteen eighty six, well, how long do these knee replacements last? And they said, Well, ten, fifteen, maybe twenty years. So I said, I'm thirty six years old, so that means when I'm fifty six, my best case scenario means that I'm going to have to have that need done all over again. That doesn't sound like such a good deal. You know, so I was prepping for a new show called Fall Guys. And I'd worked with Lee Majors, who happened to be the $6 million man. I had done $6 million with Lee. And, and I called him and I said, Lee, they want to give me a, a, a new knee, a knee replacement. And, um, and you know I can come back. You know, I, you, you know I'll come back. And he said, John. There's a hundred younger, faster guys that don't have an eighty thousand dollar knee. He said, "You become a liability on the set. You know, you've got to try this AccuJack machine out here in California that's bringing back Terry Bradshaw and Joe Montana, yeah. and on and on." He said, "I got treated today, and I was in there with Carl Malone, the basketball player, and I'm playing tennis today, pain free. You know, with this AccuJack machine." He says, "You got to come to California." I'll have, you know, somebody pick you up. If you get on a plane, get out of that office, you're their boat payment. You know, they're all smiling at you and wanting to sign that. I said, Lee, I'm on a morphine drip. I got 168 sutures. How am I going to get out of here? He says, he said, John, you have the rights to your body. You know, I know you know a lot of police officers from working on Hawaii Five O. Have some of your buddies show up in uniform. Nobody's going to stop you from getting you out of that hospital. Wow. <laughs> well, so I, I pulled out the morphine drip, never looked back, and began treatment at Dr. Curlin and Dr. Job, two of the most famous orthopedic surgeons in the world that did all the elite and professional athletes, especially the Rams and the Lakers and, you know, the, the Chargers. And, I mean, they're the best orthopedic guys in the world. So I checked out, went to their clinic, and spent seven months paying $250 a day, five days a week, to be treated with this AccuJack machine, which was the earlier versions of the Equiscope when it was two big devices and um, called the AccuScope and Myopulse. But, um, so anyways, to make a long story short, is a year from the date of the injury, I ran my first triathlon on a leg they said would never bend. In Honolulu. And I called up, oh, wow. And I called up Lee, and I said, Lee... I'm back and I don't have a, you know, I don't have, he watched the whole, you know, he watched the whole progression of me getting well. And then the next thing I knew, I got a call back from uh, Hawaii, from Magnum PI saying, Hey, can you do a knife fight scene with Tom, the guy that the actor that was working with him almost stabbed him today. And, and we hear you're ready to come back and back on the plane. I was and back on the set of Magnum PI and, and with the two machines, in my in my trailer i traveled with those machines wherever i went that's crazy so yeah. that's how it all happened and had it not happened to me i wouldn't have believed it yeah. you know it, it, but but when it happens to you and you know when it was you know i prayed i did everything you know and i understood that um because death has been at my doorstep all my life when i was when i was one my mother got cancer and she was given a year to live so so my mother was, and I, and I asked my mom, I said, Mom, why does God hate us? Why would God give you this cancer? Why do you have to die when everybody, all these other kids, their mothers are going to live? Why, you know? And she said, honey, don't you ever blame God. God's plan was right and just and good. But because man has turned away from God and thinks he's God himself, that's why we have death. God's plan was never to pull a mother from her child and a loving wife from her husband. So don't you ever blame God. She said, you know, so, and, and just because you're not going to see me doesn't mean I won't be with you always. I'll be your guardian angel, and I'll have a team of guardian angels surrounding you. And then she said, and by the way, don't think you're going to get away with anything, because I'm going to be there to crack <laughs> your little thing. If you think you're going to get away with anything, I'll be there. And when I was laying there with my leg, with my leg in the air, I went, gotcha, Mom. It's because I, you know... I, I abused my body. I yep. put in alcohol and drugs at the time, and I thought I was 6'6", 220, and bulletproof. Well, yeah. I found out I was 5'10", 157, <laughs> and made of glass. 
So, so that was my, so that, so I knew it was a divinely guided intervention that said, Hey, okay, you, you're tough. You think you can come back this time? It's going to be with new tools and new rules. And so that's how I came back. That's amazing that you, that you, so how long did it take you to recover exactly from, from start of the machine, using the machine to the time that you got back on the set? Well, I knew that I, I, it was 10 days and I was off all my pain medication. Oh. So that's why I continued to pay the 250 bucks a day, but my legs still wouldn't bend. Uh. It was just, it was stiff as a board. So I spent seven months, and, and all the savings that I had, $35,000, I had spent. And then I found out that I could buy the machines for myself. So I spent another 20000 back then. It was 20000 Now it's 40000 So it's it's no toy, and it hasn't gone. That was 35 years ago when it was 20 and 2 machines and not the technology that we have today. This is an entirely different and, and very expensive technology, including lie detectors and including missile guidance chip technology, smart missile technology, all kinds of things added into this device that were never available, all of our space program stuff that's only been recently declassified has been put into the artificial intelligence of the equoscope. So now we've got this new hybrid that um, is in every walk of medicine from the neurosurgeon to the veterinarian. So we've been successful with those that researched and went, oh my God, this is real. It's true. So I've never, so it took me, so I had to start pulling on my leg to get it to bend. And every time I'd pull on it, it would blow up so big I couldn't even get my pants on over my knee. But I would treat myself, and I'd put the plates on, and I'd go into my little cabin. I went up to Big Bear, California, and brought in on an old run-down mineral hot springs. It's where the Indians went to heal, and I always felt I had an Indian spirit. Maybe that's why the Hawaiians felt it and said, you get, you get holy skin, but you get Hawaiian heart, you know? So I always <laughs> had this indigenous feeling to myself. So I went to where the Indians healed and laid in the hot water that they did. And I got into the hot water, into the cold water, back in the hot water and yank on my leg. Ah, you know, and I could only go back and forth on the exercise cycle. But every day I'd get about an eighth of an inch further, an eighth of an inch further, back and forth, back and forth, pull on the leg, ugh, blow up because all disease, inflammation is the root cause of all disease. Yeah. So every time I would flame up, I'd go treat myself, I'd sleep with the machine, and then the next day I could get my pants on again. Oh, <laughs> That's amazing. So I wasn't so embarrassed walking out there in my underwear. So now I, so every day I went a little further and a little further, and then one day, boom, I made a full rotation on the bicycle, and I went, get me a bicycle. And I took off and I rode around Big Bear mm-hmm. Lake, and then the Big Bear Lake. So it took me, it took me treating every day for about, 13 months, 14 oh, wow. months. That's fast, considering okay. traditional format of physical therapy alone or even getting cortisone shots. And, and being bone on bone. Yeah, and then doing surgery yeah. to get the disc, the artificial disc in there or what have you. But I think what you did was you, you basically, uh, you know, gave your body information that it needed. So the question I was going to ask you, too, because you're talking about the technology that's in this new machine, why did you guys... What's the point of having the the missile technology in there? What does that really technically do? I mean, I know uh, Kelly tries to explain it to me, and you know, I do understand a lot, but you know, there are some things I don't get. So, can you explain that? And then, you know, Kelly, you can chime in too if you want. But it's just I'm just trying to understand this. Okay, you you your brain, your autonomic nervous system, both sympathetic and parasympathetic, they go in tandem, right? So now your body being electrical. So everything running through your system is electrical. As soon as I excite your tissue with the device, that captures the behavior of the autonomic nervous system. The sympathetic is basically the gas pedal, and the parasympathetic is the brakes. So as soon as we excite the tissue, we capture that behavior, and and that behavior, as soon as it comes back to the probe, it does it in milliseconds since the body's continually changing. So in milliseconds, it gives the device the mathematical signature of the pathology, which may, which is a much uh, more difficult equation. You know, it's actually high algebra, but, but it comes back and it says, oh, that injury is 2 plus 2 equals 4. Well, the device goes, ha-ha-ha, output in 4 minus 4 equals 0. So we've now found the mathematical signature of the response of the autonomic nervous system, 
and we've calculated it and corrected it. Now, how long is that going to stay corrected? It could stay corrected for 20 minutes. It can stay correct, corrected for 20 hours, 20 days, maybe indefinitely. But since we're continually, since all disease is toxic response, if you remove the toxicity, you remove the response, which is dis-ease, our body not being at ease. So that, that mechanism of response tells me to use the analogy of traffic. I can have a Lamborghini. But if the freeway is full in traffic, I still can't go any faster than a kid on a skateboard. But if you remove all the traffic, I could do 200 miles an hour. Like we can so today. Remove- <laughs> There's no so cars I- in the road. <laughs> There's nobody on the road. The police have never written so many tickets for people going over 100 miles an hour. <laughs> but uh, so, so, so when you remove all the traffic and the dirt, as I say, you know, the dirt and the fuel lines just blow them away. When you remove all that, now the body can function perfectly the, the way that it was meant to be. Death was never a part of God's plan. You take a look biblically and you go back into the Old Testament True. and see how long people live. Right. They say 500 kind of years, atm- something like that. Yeah. What kind, of, what kind of an atmosphere were they living in? Yeah. A pristine atmosphere. Yeah, it's interesting how we've evolved and how our body responds. I just find this so interesting that this machine can actually understand uh, an area of of clogging this or toxic load or any of that stuff and be able to send an impulse to that specific area to uh, well, look unclog at all it. Of our, look, at all of our, look at all of our diagnostic tools. Right. Our diagnostic right. tools. EKG. Everybody's familiar with that with the heart. Sure. EMG. Everybody's familiar with that with measuring muscle. Sure. EEG is the brain and nerves. What's the E stand for? Electric. Electro. Give me a brownie. <laughs> Electromyograph, electroencephalograph, electrocardiograph. And then how do they bring it back to life when you got a big heart attack? Do they stick a needle in your heart? No. No. You know, an EpiPen, unless you overdosed on heroin or some, or the opiate epidemic that we've gone. But no. What do they do? What do they use? Electric pads. The defibrillator. So you're diagnosed electrically. You're brought back to life electrically. And all of these devices, the EEGs, EKGs, those are all sensors. Right. And they all have filters to censor out so that they're not reading EEG and EKG at the same time. So each one of these has filters. This is a finely tuned electrical system. And so that's what the the electroequoscope is capable of doing. It's with all the filters and sensors it knows. Is this an EG response, EMG response? As soon as you push that button in milliseconds, that device knows whether you're treating a pigeon or an elephant. That's crazy. And who, who's, yeah. who's allowed to administer, use, to use this machine? I mean, obviously you have a lot of doctors backing this up. I, uh, it's no toy. This is no toy. I can teach anybody. It's a technician field, but I can teach anybody. So you got to re- you got to realize this is a combination of Chinese medicine and missile guidance chip technology. So I spent two years at the Institute of Oriental Medicine, right there with Dr. Lucy Lee and Cyrus Liu, learning points, channels, and meridians. I felt if I could get really good with acupuncture points, because what's an acupuncture point? It's a highly conductive point in the body. It's an electrical point. The Chinese have known this for thousands of years. Their medicine has lasted thousands of years. Right. Our medicine is basically a few hundred years old, and it's fair fa- and it's failing. The pharmacological is failing miserably. Yeah, because it's covered say, up. Not, not to say that there's not many miracles that have been done pharmacologically, but there's too many disasters that have occurred as well when you can first do no harm treating the body in a way that's synergistic with it. Every cell in your body is like a little tiny battery. A damaged cell doesn't have the same resonating frequency as a normal healthy cell. So what this device goes after, it goes after looking at membrane potential, a cell that's not holding perfect electrical charge. And if it's not holding perfect electrical charge, the voltage-sensitive ion channels, I heard you talking about nutritional things and how to help your body in training. Well, what was discovered in 1991 are voltage-sensitive ion channels, voltage-sensitive ion channels. If you don't have the right current going across 
that cellular membrane, those gates that allow nutrients in and waste product out do not function correctly. In fact, a faulty ion channel is what causes cystic fibrosis. So it's all about the electrical function of a cell. So now what we're able to do is go in and find those cells that are holding up a little flag going, help, I don't have any electricity here. And we go, oh, we'll get, you know, so we, boom. And so electricity, blood flow and electricity travel the path of least resistance going around the damaged t- tissue instead of through it. What we're able to do is normalize conductance through that area of pathology today, not six weeks from today. And we get in there and charge all those cells up and they go, oh, we got it. We got nutrient. We got everything flowing in and out. Current flow. So restoring homeostasis. Why hasn't this been more commercialized? Like, why isn't this in more doctors' offices? Because you you guys are telling me that this treats uh, not just inflammation, but it treats all sorts of issues that, you know, whether it's uh, even even uh, in a vanity level, your, it tightens your skin and well, collagen com- and all the good stuff. It comes down to, number one, the time it takes to treat and use it correctly. That's a technician field. The average time an MD spends with you is two to five minutes. Chiropractor, seven to 15. Physical therapists will spend a little longer because they're working on functional things and moving the body. And they've used TENS devices and, and electrical therapy and muscle, you know, stuff that's uh, stronger, galvanic, to get a muscle to contract when you're not able to do it itself, but not intelligent microcurrent. The other big thing was reimbursement. How do you get paid for it? Now, back in the days when I was with Castle Medical Center, you know, there we had the number one reimbursing uh, HMSA and all the uh, Hawaiian medical uh, insurance. We were the number one in reimbursement back in the 80s and up until 1995 in Hawaii. And so Castle Medical brought me on. They could bill insurance because I was under the doctor. And so the, the hospital itself, insurance companies had no problem reimbursing there. But as far as the codes, what codes do you use? So we found, you know, the codes, E-STEM, biofeedback, neuromuscular re-education, and CASA successfully filled, and we were successful in getting paid. Now, those codes get changed arbitrarily. Sure. You've got to understand when you're dealing with a therapy that's not understood, and as far as E-STEM, they said, well, we only, we only can bill for E-STEM, which is like at that time, you know, you could get, maybe $35 for an e-stem. But four codes of e-stem, they said, we're not going to allow four codes of e-stem, so we'll give you $35. But when you start going into e-stem, then we have, we also have a biofeedback mechanism. So we started showing that we have these codes that we could get reimbursed. But again, it's up to the insurance company. And with the insurance company, with the insurance company, who owns the insurance companies? Big Big Pharma. Yeah. It's really So if you're not going to go by their rules, if you're not going to go by their rules, that's why I took a guy. They said, listen, we'll, they wanted that I had to spend close to, a, you know, so sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 to fix my knee when my insurance company would have paid the $80,000 to give me something that would have lasted for max 20 years. Oh, they'd pay for it. No problem. Everybody gets paid when you go through the surgery and all the people that have their hand out, the anesthesiologist and everybody else that's going to get paid. Well, with this... The last thing the pharmaceutical industry wants is a painless therapy that gets you well and costs nothing to use but a few cents in electricity. Right. You might think you don't need drugs. You know, so I thought and I thought and I thought about, listen, I can improve health care quality and lower health care costs. If you do, no, 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 no. And it's unfortunate. The profiteers profit in this country on our suffering, not on our wellness. In China, it's pay me to keep you well pay little or nothing to come in sickness. And that's why we've got to change the rules. We've got to change things. It's like, let me keep you well, but pay me to do things that allow your body to reproduce perfectly, to do what God made you to do, replenish and re- reproduce perfectly. I like the quote I found here from an article of the Health Science in the summer of 1992 from Castle Rehab Services. And they quote you, John, saying, some people call it the miracle machine, but the machine is not the miracle the human body is very true. Yeah, and it's when we're, that's what we're working with here is is the scopes. You know, the equiscope. Now, this therapy helps the body heal itself, and 
Yeah, you're giving it the right information to do what it's supposed to do. And I think you guys are onto something. The unfortunate factor is what you talked about, John, is the, the political aspect of the, the policies and procedures that go along with, you know, the Western medicine when it comes to the way that they get paid out and the paperwork they have to do and all that good stuff. But when it comes to a treatment, I don't want to say alternative, but a, another uh, option to treat different type of ailments. I, the options there. The problem is, how do people get to it so that they get that kind of treatment? It's, and of course, they're going to spend a little bit more money out of their pocket because it's not going to be a fully covered, like you said, like it would be under insurance. But it's well worth it, especially if you're getting your quality of life. You might invest maybe, let's say, three months versus a year in another treatment because you got more specific treatment through the the machine versus going into surgery and having to go physical therapy. It or makes if a you big have difference. to go that route, it's a complementary service to complement that. And- and accelerate continuing doing the repair True. that needed to be True. done. You need, if you have a compound fracture and, and they need to help you out and, and give you some stability there. Right. I've had a few tibia fibias that have been in that situation and accelerated their healing. One, by causes of having a surgery, of being so invasive and having hematomas and body rashes and things like that that are, right. you know, happening after surgery, but post surgery, helping those tissues all connect appropriately and getting that flow that energy all of those connectivities rewired and and functioning optimally so it is a complementary service as well what do you think you can't see you you can't keep the truth suppressed true you know i what i did in a lot of the studies that i did were on wounds diabetic ulcers decubitus ulcers venous stasis ulcers a wound either heal or doesn't i'd step in when they said well we, it's going to go gangrene, and we're going to have to amputate his leg. I said, well, let me treat him. And six weeks later, the wound is healed, and he saved his foot. You know, I've done, you know, countless amounts of diabetic ulcers. That's why I was called into Cedar sinai They had a, a very, you know, wealthy patient that had donated, you know, millions of dollars to the hospital. And he, had a, he happened to have a hip replacement, and he was grumpy, and he didn't want anybody to move him. But then when they went to discharge him, he had this huge decubitus ulcer on his backside. And Dr. Ann Meyer called me and she said, John, I can't discharge this guy. He's got this huge wound on his butt because he wouldn't let people move him. Can your machine? I said, yeah. So I went in there and I, this is in 1996. And I went in there and I treated and I had 11 physicians all standing around me saying, oh my God, I can see the wound glazing over. Oh my God, I've never seen anything happen like this so fast. Oh, my God, and 10 days later, he was able to be discharged. It's called instantaneous, so have, what is it called? Instantaneous rate of exchange. We do an instantaneous rate of exchange. We change the value of the tissue, so we change the way your brain is responding to it. Your brain is going, oh, the battle's over. The war's been won. I don't have to send out all the cytokines, all the inflammatory response, because now all of a sudden, the signal back to the brain is, oh, we've normalized this area of conductance now how long it stays that way that's the variable that's why we do you know multiple treatments we normally do three days consecutively and most commonly it's a month worth of treatments and we have most problems you know pretty well in hand some things go longer when we're dealing with you know chronic disease but but that's but i've had many surgeons now i go let's let's do pre-op and get the tissue healthier before you cut i realize that he's gotten too many things you know like darren sproles I said, let, you know, he tore off his ACL. This guy is going to be moving on an ACL like I've taken many ACLs that never needed the surgery. They were still torn off, but they were able to resume what they were doing. But Darren happens to move in a way that not many humans can move <laughs> like, and I knew that I could have him Super Bowl ready, of which I did. You know, Amazing. Did pre-op, post, post-op, and, you know, that's why the elite professional athletes come to me. And then that's the other thing about pro athletes. What I find, and why, why are the doctors, knowing that you can cut the healing time in half, why aren't they sending me all their clients? Why? Because a player that goes on IR, injured reserve, becomes an immediate workers' compensation case. Mm. What's the, what is the value to the doctor to allow it to heal in half the time so he gets paid half the money? And by the way, who pays the doctors on the The, the, the teams don't pay the doctors. The doctors... <laughs> The, the doctors basically pay the team because yeah. they do everything free of charge, but they take all the workers' compensation. Sure, it's so all political. Fact, so they're not wild about me when I get when I'm ushered into the Chicago Cubs because I took Ted Lilly, who did Tommy John surgery, and 
and couldn't throw a ball, and he, and he didn't have the six months to try and recover. And in three weeks, I had him throwing full speed. So, he, you know, he says to me, hey, play catch with me, John. He throws me a couple of I said, I'm not, I might be a stunt man, but I'm not a stupid man, at least not now. I used to be, but not now. <laughs> so he says, I said, don't throw that ball at me. Jesus, you know, it almost broke my hand. So he calls his strength and conditioning coach, who flies into his ranch up in, up in uh, San Luis Obispo, and he goes, throw here. Here, here, what'd you do? I did this guy. And he said, can he do the whole team? And then I was off to spring training with the Chicago Cubs. Wow, that's but, amazing. But, so, you know, and then Ted went on to sign for 33. Now, actually, Ted bought the machine. And Ted went on to sign later with the Dodgers for $33 million for the next three years. I said, where's wow. my 10%, Teddy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hey, John, we're running short on time. This is crazy. Can, if we invited you back, would you come back on again? I'd be, I'd be honored to, of oh course. Oh, my gosh. You're so, your wealth of knowledge. I mean, I could sit here listening to you for hours, really, and I'm not exaggerating because the, the stories, besides the stories, which is very entertaining and very educational, you also have the facts, and, and it's true. There's a lot of things that we have to deal with here on the political level when it comes to medicine. But, you know, I just wanted people to understand that, first of all, Kelly's here on Oahu. She is trained by you, and she has also been around this machine for most of her life, and so she understands this machine inside and out. Um, and she's also gone through your schooling, and so she's accredited um, by the John Thorpe Institute. So I want to make sure that you know people understand that you came on for purely educational reasons is to help us out to and encourage others to know that there is a possible alternative for the rehabbing and for their pain and for their, you know, inflammation and other things that are out there. And, you know, um, you know, before I close, of course, I'm going to say goodbye to you first, but I'm going to give Kelly's information for people to reach out to her because for me, as a fibromyalgia patient, this was imperative. It made a difference for me. I want to help others like you do and like Kelly does. And I so appreciate the, the, the information and you being a pioneer and, and taking this to the world and trying to get everyone educated and healthy again. I so appreciate you existing in this earth. And just a little, you know, tidbit is that, you know, it used to be alternative. And I, my first clinic at Thorpe Institute of Alternative Medicine was at the Westwood Medical Plaza, the gateway to UCLA. But we're no longer alternative. We're an integrated practice. Wonderful. You know, we want to work with all the physicians. We want to give them new tools with new rules. And we want to be able for a physician to be proud and say, the patients that come to my office, I first do no harm. Absolutely. And I want to give them that right back. I want to give them the integrity that physicians deserve. They've worked hard. They went into medicine for the right reasons. They just got bad tools and some pretty bad rules. I completely agree. Well, I, want to, I want to be under the umbrella of holistic. Well, um, John, I'm going to say goodbye to you, and I appreciate you giving us your, your beautiful time. Uh, God bless you, and I look forward to speaking with you in the next couple of weeks. We'll bring you back on, and we'll finish this conversation pro- appropriately. And um, Kelly, how can they find you? What's your, your website and phone number? I'm at www.microcurrentelectrotoxicologist.com. Kelly's time on Instagram. And you can always give me a call at 808-485-9697. And we can go from there. Whatever questions you have or information or leads to any doctor's offices, clinics, physicians, you name it. She's available ability to teach you guys on how to take care of your patients properly. So if you guys are out there and you want to uh, have her do a demo, she's willing to come to you. So uh, definitely take advantage of the fact that we have somebody here on Oahu to do that. Um, everyone, thank you, John. Thank you, Kelly, for coming on the show. I appreciate you guys. I look forward to getting treated by you, Kelly, in the next day. My body needs it. And um, I wish you all good health. Stay positive. Stay safe. Uh, stay well. And aloha. Aloha.